Hello and welcome to episode 394 of Bobo Scrub Arty Records. Hey! So Wednesday's episode ended pretty damn sweet, I think. Old Mr. Walters and all that. So yeah, I thought, well, today I'm going to try and stick with the uh, some of the British artillery then. So in the sake of not getting Ensk, seeing as though we've been pretty good at not getting Ensk, I'm going to start off with the Conquer Gun Carriage. Then I'll probably try the Burt, the Sexton, and maybe the uh, 3805 if we get time, something like that. But I'm going to stick with the British artillery today anyway. Hmm, Arctic region. It's not Ensk, so it's good. We have more heavies than they do. So I'm not going to try pushing over this way like I normally do just because I feel that their medium tanks are probably going to try and push up round the north. So I'm going to stay fairly far back to begin with just so then we can get some shots across here just in case they decide to try and give, give it a bit of welly. I'm going to get aimed in here first off because this is where they're going to pop up to try and spot people. Though saying that, we've still got 15 seconds left on our reload, so... Hmm. Okay, Type 61, there's nothing else over here yet. I'm surprised, actually. I would have really thought that there would have been people down here. Now there's a couple spotted down south. There's TVP. He's not going to stick around by the look of things. No, he is not. Our aim time is so very long. Hmm. 254s, 255A and the Type 61 over here. They're doing exactly like we thought they would, aren't we? Aren't they, even? Ooh. Damn it. Okay, I think we might have done some friendly damage there. That would be bad, wouldn't it? Seeing as though those medium tanks are pushing on proper, I'm going to get Shimmy on. This isn't too slow. You know, with uh, as big as it is. Oh dear, this is scary. Let's see if we can get down into where the heavies are. I really don't want to be around here when those medium tanks push on up. Oh dear. WZ's coming round. Thinks he's potentially going to spot us in a second, which he has. So hopefully we can get out of the way. So WZ did see us, but at least we're safe for the time being. I think it's going to be worth us trying to push on round. What we can always do is try and make it over here, and then we can get some shots across to our, our flag if needs be. Flag. Now the 261 could end us pretty well. E100 bounced a shot off the front of this guy, and that's, that's impressive. Now there's a tortoise over this way. Look, when you try and use Battle Assistant to move around the map, it's hideous. I don't know how people do it all of the time. Look at this aim time. There he goes. Okay, we need to get down out of the way so we don't get spotted. Maybe what I can do is get back down here and then get some shots across onto the cap. The likelihood of our guy spotting the cap right now, though, is not very good. Though he's not going to know we're here. So. Let's have a quick look, see if we can get shots on him. We probably can't from here, no. We 
you can if he moves far enough back. We just we need to get something on the on the cap circle. Yes, we've got a fairly large splash, but looks like that broke there. Do you think they're going around in circles? Well, there you go. We're not going to get another one in now. There, we've got less time on the cap than we have. A reload. Bugger. Okay. Well, let's stick around. There's a WZ. Just need one HE shell on him. Come on. Someone's got to hit him. Oh, man. Nicely done. Very, very nicely done. Right, now... We're just coming up to a reload, so... Let's see what we can do here. What I might do... Is just get... Aimed in at this point. Just in case they decide to come down low. Now we wait. Hmm. Which way do you think they will have gone? We only get one chance with a 45 second reload, don't we? Kind of flicking my eyes between what's on screen and what's on the map. Being very careful to try and hold my hand steady as well. They could be coming up that way, he's right. It'd be nice if, like, before someone spotted, if they're close enough and not spotted, you could, like, hear their engine sounds and stuff. That'd be a nice feature. To be like, I can tell they're close. I don't know where they are, but I can hear them. Okay, so the 113. Don't want to move from here just yet. Okay, they are being careful. I mean, so they are pushing on up now. So let's get get aimed in here then because they're not going to they're not going to spot us god this same time is so long isn't it let's wait and see what happens here then do you think they're just waiting might be. Hmm. Wow. 55's just turned back round. It's interesting. We're not going to be able to get any shots on him from here though, are we? No, we are not. Right, well, we're pretty much done for, I think. can we do now? Do you think the E5 went back as well? He probably did, didn't he? Hmm. Is it worth staying out wide, do you think? They're going to know whereabouts I'm, I'm going to be. Well, let's stay out this way. They probably probably think we've headed back up around that way, maybe. Hmm. It'd be nice to try and save on a repair bill, wouldn't it? But I can't imagine... 
I'm gonna, gonna sit down here because this gives us some shots across on our cat but also protects us slightly so there we go hmm now if you're sensible I suppose we'd let them cap it out where would they be do you think Let's just do it near the middle, shall we? That gives them an idea of where we are. Yeah, no, we're not going to get reloaded in time now, are we? Ah, oh, well, never mind. We did what we could. Hmm. Just let that timer tick down, look. Yeah, still got 20 seconds. Boo! Well, that was a defeat. 810 damage, though. One out of four shots. Meh. No mind. Was an Ensk. So, there you go. So this orbital laser cannon that never misses. Four shots fired. One direct hit with one penetration and a splash. For 810 damage. Okay. There we are. Good stuff. Right. 3805 now. I really like this thing. It doesn't like me very much, but I do really like it. I think it looks great and it feels great to play, but doesn't really like me very much. But you never know. This this could be a good one. So let's just go go give it a go and see what happens. Well, would you look at that? We start the week here and we finish the week here. So Westfield tier 10 game, two artillery on each side. Hmm. Looks like there's some good uh, good plans on both sides. Righty-o. See if we can actually land some shots on target, shall we? Whether or not we will, I don't know, but uh, yes. Not many people headed south southeast, but uh, Seeing as we're over here, if we need to climb the hill, we're in a better position to do so. Okay, a few seconds left. Let's get our first shot lined up, shall we? Those two T10s are probably going to push further around. Oh, it would be nice if someone was to get a spot in for sure could try and get something on this E5. Don't hold out much hope though. No. Oh well. Okay. Let's continue pushing on up the hill a little bit. Let's see if we can get aimed in for our next shot. It's only 12 seconds left. Ish. Hmm. C75 is going to be difficult to hit. We're going to have to skim the hill for sure. Could do with him pushing forwards a little bit more. Wow, this E5 is being very aggressive. Let's see if we can get a shot on him then, shall we? Wow, that went right over his head. Okay. Hmm. Well, we'll keep trying then. The uh, 62A is in a good position for us to not hit. Damn him. Although saying that, that's pretty damn good, isn't it? Yeah, come on. Stay. Should have stayed there. That would have been great. Silly man. Hmm. Okay. T10's in a perfect position for us to not hit him as well. Can we get something on him there, maybe? Oh, he's on fire. Maybe we can just fire a shell over his head. Hello! 
<sighs> yeah, well, 32 seconds. Gives us time to move. Maybe try and help out down south here slightly. They have just lost one. The T49 is in trouble a little bit. Nice comeback there. See if we maybe we can get something in these three. They're all clumped together. Short way. Right. So we don't hit anything for the first few shots and then pop straight through a medium tank. How does that work? Weird. Okay, well there's only the T-54 and the, uh, the artillery left now. I don't think we're going to be able to get much more damage in. Really. I mean, even if we get fully aimed, look, we're not we're not going to get anything on in on him, are we? Really? Not unless someone takes the house out. Well, that's a shame. I mean, unless we can splash him a little bit here, but yeah, there you go. We got the kill at least. <laughs> that's kind of a kill still, but never mind. Good game. There we are, that was a victory. 1,564 of our own damage there, one out of five shots. It was pretty much all on that leopard, wasn't it? So some of our crew members have got new skills and we managed to get some more premium consumables out of that by completing a mission. So there you go, there's something. Not too good on damage or XP, really. But still two kills, five shots fired, one direct hit, one of penetration and a splash made a little bit of a loss but that was a times two so a decent amount of credits uh not credits xp that we came away with there hmm okay need this guy to uh pop over to 100 as well i wonder how far he's got how much has he got 500 screw it let's get him up to the same as everyone else shall we there you go look at that good so what I'd probably do at this point is I'm um, I'm tempted to to maybe retrain. Hmm. Let's have a quick look because we don't normally do this kind of thing, do we? So let's have a quick look. The loaders are a bit of a weird one. Okay, um, I've got a bug at the moment, which means that the the little hover over things don't come up, which is really frustrating but the loaders you really need to train a skill up and then switch this one out so I think that's what we need to do with him so if we wanted intuition say they need to be a hundred percent so I'd probably have to spend some gold on him but as you can see I haven't got much premium time left and yeah so I've got to be careful with that and that works with both as well which helps safe stowage is is handy adrenaline rush also handy but then again if you it's not very often you have very little hit points left and survive long enough to be able to get another shot off anyway safe stowage can be handy but then again we don't get ammo racks i mean normally you're you're a one shot anyway so um yes but clutch braking off-road driving smooth ride they're all very handy for the uh the driver and snapshot for the gunner for sure hmm. it's tempting actually to to change that over I think that might be an idea to do let's um let's switch that over so we'll reset him so we'll do brothers in arms again then we'll do snapshot and then we'll do camouflage so there we go so we can take advantage of brothers in arms and for the driver I think what did we do for this driver hmm can't tell what that one is can you oh it's clutch braking isn't it yes so maybe clutch braking for this guy and I think we'll just start him off because it does move kind of alright doesn't it so there you go there's a couple I 
in debating at the moment as to whether or not what to what to try with uh, whether we should do something different because something like the object 261 you see adrenaline rush is really handy because you do switch between armor piercing and um, HE and things but with the 3805 not so much hmm. all right we'll leave them like that for the time being I'm glad that they're finally up there so that's really really good we've got situational and awareness as well on our driver there which helps but uh, yeah okay anyway we'll leave it there for this episode I think because it's around about 20 minutes but thank you for watching leave a like and stuff if you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one so until then bye